Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today for our virtual housing tour. My name is Cam and I'm going to take you through what you should expect to see moving onto campus as an incoming freshman. First, we're going to start here at Hamlin Hall. Hamlin Hall is split into two towers, the South Tower and the North Tower. Both towers go from floor one to floor nine and they meet up at floor four, which is the main floor that we are entering in on right now. The first thing that we want to talk to you about here in Hamlin Hall is the Night Watch staff and the Night Watch stand. Night Watch is located in each one of our residence halls and is a student staff with the sole purpose of keeping our residents safe. Here in Hamlin Hall, after the hour of 8 p.m., you'll see two tables manned by the Night Watch student staff. After 8 p.m., any student that enters will have to swipe their ID card through with the staff just to make sure that only the students that are supposed to be in the building are allowed into the building. Nightwatch also works hand in hand with Oakland University Police Department, OUPD for short, for short, to just make sure that our halls are staying perfectly safe. Because we know to make this your home, the most important thing is feeling safe at home. Next, we're going to move over to our main housing office, which is located here on the fourth floor of Hamlin Hall. This office runs by the typical hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but on Wednesdays they have extended hours until 6.30 p.m. This is for those students that have classes throughout the day or may work throughout the day, so they still have the time to come into the office if they have any housing questions, because our awesome staffs that work at the front desk are always there to answer questions. This is also where our director of housing, Jim Zentmeyer, works out of as well. Next, we're gonna head down to one of our floors here in Hammond Hall and check out our showroom. See exactly what it's like to live here if you were placed in Hamlin Hall. The first thing that you'll notice coming down to the floor is this laundry room. There are two laundry rooms here in Hamlin Hall, third floor of each tower. This is the three south laundry room. There's also one of three north. Laundry in all of our residence halls is completely, completely free. Don't need any change or anything to make the machines work. You just need what we like to call laundry sauce. So detergent or softeners, whatever you like to use. Here is the floor lounge. Each Hamlin Hall floor has their own lounge. It's a great place to do homework with friends or just get to know the people you'll be living around. Really cool place for people to come together. Also on every floor is a resident assistant who lives here at the end of each hall. All of our resident assistants are SAFE trained, which stands for Students, Administration, and Faculty for Equality, which is great to know that you have someone living right on your floor that's understanding and can be there for things within school and outside of them. They're a great resource to have, and we highly, highly encourage creating that relationship with your resident assistant. Now we are going to approach our showroom. This is our typical Hamlin Hall suite that will house four people, but there are additional rooms that can house more as well. Here in this suite, there are two people in each room. They have a shared bathroom as well as a shared equal closet space. Important to note that you can bring things like refrigerators and microwaves into the room, but they are not provided in Hamlin Hall rooms. But you can bring one and place it out here like this room has it, or you can bring more as well. These beds are also unique here in Hamlin Hall as they're very free to loft. You can put it low to the floor, you can put it high to the floor, whatever you prefer, and you don't need to bring any of your own lofting supplies. All of the lofting materials is provided in the halls and on moving, you just have to ask your resident assistant to help you out with them. Now, after we checked out the showroom, we're gonna head back up to check out more of the awesome things that Hamlin Hall provides to our students. One thing that parents always like to ask are, are there any adults in the building or do the students run wild? Yes, there are adults in the building. Each hall has at least one graduate residence director and at least one residence director. These are the adults that make sure that everything is running smoothly in the hall. They have some authority in the halls and then they're also there to step in and just help your students. They're a great resource as well. Here we have our Hamlin Main Lounge. This is on the fourth floor and it connects the two towers. It is a great place to study, to get to meet people from other parts of the hall, to just hang out, they have a TV that's accessible. It's a really nice place to just congregate with other students. You also may notice these green recycling bins. These are through our student program, SOAP, which stands for Sustaining Our Planet Earth. They work on recycling and keeping us a green campus and an environmentally conscious campus. And now here we have our main desk and mailboxes. Main desk is great 
to get carts during move-in, you can rent out vacuums or other cleaners, they even have some games. So that's a great thing to go to the main desk for. Also bigger packages like books, or let's say your parents send you something from home, that's a nice little care package you'll pick up at the main desk in your building. Mailboxes for the smaller things. Don't worry though, there's no extra keys for mailboxes. It's the same as your room key. And here in Hamlin Hall, the mailbox is not for the entire suite, it's for one singular room. So let's say you're in suite 306, there's one for 306B and 306A. Next, we're gonna move on to what I like to call one of the hidden gems here in Hamlin Hall and something that all residents should know about, our computer lounge, lab and technology help desk. This computer lab is open 24 seven. So it's a great resource whenever you need it. Hopefully students never have a time where it's 2 a.m. and they have a paper due at 8 a.m. But if you ever get in that pinch, here is the place to go. These computers are always on for you. We have Macs, we have Windows, whatever fits your preference. We also have what here called our WEPA station. This is our how we print on campus. It's super simple. You just upload a document to WEPA online. You come up, you put in your ID card, it knows exactly who you are, and you can just select and print. All students start with $5 of WEPA printing per semester, which is a really nice amount for all your printing needs. And over here, we have our Housing Technology Help Desk. This is another student staff that is there for all your technology needs, and it's a completely free resource. Having trouble with your laptop, your phone, your internet, your even I've gone with my Xbox. These guys are fantastic, and they'll always be there to help you out and give you a hand. And if they're not able themselves, they'll send you in the right direction to get even more help. We're gonna start now heading out of Hamlin Hall, and we're gonna start moving towards our Hamlin Circle. Hamlin Circle is located right in the middle of this side of our residential part of campus. It's absolutely beautiful in the fall and the spring. It's a great place to just chill out on the bench, chill outside, read a book, do some homework. Good place to meet up with friends. Let's say you have, you're living in Hamlin and you have a friend living in Oakview Hall. It's just super easy to be like, hey, I'll meet you in the Hamlin Circle in five minutes. It's a great place, well-known place. Also, when we're in Hamlin Circle, we like to talk about parking on campus because you'll hear this a lot, parking is completely free. No pass needed, you don't need to go through OUPD, no permits, nothing. The, the key to parking on campus is green is good. Painting in the green painted spots, those are overnight spots, you are perfectly fine. The yellow painted spots, those are not overnight spots. And if you're caught between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. in those yellow painted spots, well, as we've said, Oakland University Police Department, super good at their job, they will give you a ticket. So just remember, green is good. And yes, freshmen can bring their cars on campus starting day one. And a lot of schools aren't like that, but here at Oakland University, we love the fact that we can tell our freshman students they can bring their car from day one because there's so much great things in the Rochester area that you want to take your car and get around. So that's our Hamlin Hall part of the tour. I hope you join us as we move over to Hill House next.